Now, Catherine Worth was a leading professor of drama who worked closely with the writer Samuel Beckett. Catherine founded the drama department at Royal Holloway College in the University of London. She placed great emphasis on the performance of drama and invited leading practitioners like Dame Judi Dench to talk to her students. But it was her relationship with Beckett that formed the centrepiece of her work. We spoke to the actor and director Tim Piggott Smith and to the current professor of drama at Royal Holloway, Elizabeth Schaefer. Catherine was very courteous, very gracious, and very generous, and she was absolutely determined. All the dead voices, they make a noise like wings, like leaves, like sand, like leaves. She's a very clever woman and very articulate and very clear. They all speak together, each one to itself. Rather, they whisper, they rustle. They murmur. She started off as an English literature student and she just got completely hooked by um, drama and theatre and increasingly through her life she was doing more theatre and she was also producing a lot of theatre. Her students were doing productions of plays that people thought you couldn't do anymore like the Yates dance plays um, for example. And then when she was working on Beckett she was a close friend of Beckett and she just decided that she was going to start doing productions. Unusually for Beckett, he was agreeable to her changing things in the plays. He was notorious for not allowing people to change his lines, but Catherine managed to persuade him to change all kinds of things. And she was involved in producing a production of Company by Beckett, uh, directed yes. by Tim Piggott smith wasn't she? That production was extremely successful. It got a fringe first in Edinburgh. It was on in London. It was on in New York. And it was very much acclaimed critically. It's a very unusual Beckett piece. The central image of it is very Beckettian and very dark, but it's interspersed with the most delicious memories of childhood. There were 60 sound cues and there were 100 lighting cues, which in an hour means that the DSM is playing the piano, really. <laughs> Would you care to read a little extract from it? Yes, I'll read it? you a, a tiny little bit from, from the beginning so that you get the picture. A voice comes to one in the dark. Imagine. To one on his back in the dark. Only a small part of what is said can be verified, as, for example, when he hears, You are on your back in the dark. Wonderful. Gives you a taste. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, what sort of a character was Catherine as you worked with her? Yeah, she, she was brilliantly supportive. That was the main thing. She really was a perfect producer. How did she become friendly with Beckett? They wrote letters to each other quite a lot, but when she knew that he was in the UK, she arranged to meet up many times, and on one occasion, when she was starting to work on um, A. Joe, she managed to lure Beckett out to Royal Holloway, and in her book Life Journeys, she describes how she and Beckett sat in an empty lecture theatre at Royal Holloway, listening to tapes of his early plays. And it's, it's a scene that is, it could almost be out of a Beckett play. And Beckett is chuckling away at um, his own jokes. Up in the darkness of the stage, a face, listening to its own voice coming at it from three quarters of the stage. Another image from Beckett, a mouth this time, spewing out a stream of almost incoherent words, while a, an auditor down on a podium... Across the stage at a slightly awkward angle, which makes us look hard at it, is listening but unable to speak. Not I. What was her relationship with her students like? The most important thing about Catherine, I think, was her extraordinary enthusiasm for theatre. And that enthusiasm was very infectious. So she really enthused students. She was also intellectually very rigorous. And then on top of that, she was always asking her students to do the impossible. And the wonderful thing about drama students is that you ask them to do the impossible and they very often do do the impossible. And would some of them have gone on to be famous actors? Probably the most famous is Mark Strong. Who's and been in The View from the Bridge recently. That's right, yeah. But many of her students went on to work in areas like design and directing. I think he's the most famous, though. And obviously much admired at the university because a building's been named after her, hasn't it? That's right. The drama department is now in the Catherine Worth building. The building was renamed the Catherine Worth building. 
really because she founded the drama department, but also because she's a pioneering woman. She was the first woman professor of drama in the UK. So as a pioneering woman, I think she's very important as well. Professor Elizabeth Schaefer on Professor Catherine Worth, who's died aged 92.